Before installing and operating the segmented transfer plate, it is important to review and understand the installation and operation manual. Finger guards, while common, lack the convenience of an engineered solution and can damage the belt or restrict the product flow. Follow all OSHA lockout tagout procedures before installing the segmented transfer plate. Proper PPE must be worn to control hazards associated with conveyor maintenance. Welding is the preferred method of installation, so there must be adequate structure between the belts. Measure the interior width of the structure at the widest point, where the plate will be positioned. Next, select the gauge key that properly fits in between the pulleys, where the transfer plate will be installed. While fitting, keep in mind the approximate distance the transfer plate should cover, as well as the positioning relative to the crown of the pulley. Selecting the correct key is critical to the success of the transfer. Using the wrong gauge key could create material flow restriction. Once you have secured the correct key, turn the key over to find the corresponding item code. Once the gauge key has been correctly placed and you have determined the width of the conveyor belt structure, select the segmented transfer plate item code you need to order from your Flexco distributor. Cut the support bar 3 8 of an inch or 9 millimeters less than the measured internal width of the structure. Slide one segment pair onto the bar from each end and position each approximately one quarter of the total bar length from the end. Assemble the provided brackets. Tack two shims on top of the back plate of each mounting bracket. Using the socket head screws and washers, attach the front plate to the back plate, ensuring that the shims are in place. Align the edges of the front and back plates so that the vertical edges are parallel. Tighten the screws to compress shims making sure there is no interference with the pole end. Slide one mounting bracket assembly onto each end of the bar. Position the support bar with segments and mounting brackets into the transfer gap. The segmented transfer plate is designed to make contact with the belt to protect the belt from damage. When working with belts with profiled top covers, like longitudinal rib or rough top belting, the assembly should be installed within the thickness of a business card, between the surface of the belt and the plate. With the assembly in place, tack weld the back plate onto the structure. Verify the location after you complete the tack weld and adjust as needed. Remove the socket head screws from the mounting brackets and lift the assembly with the front plates out of the transfer, leaving only the back plates in place and finish welding the back plates with a one inch bead on two sides of the plate. Start placing the plastic segments on the bar starting at the ends. The end plastic segments can be identified by the thin leg. These segments will be placed against the mounting plates. Once the end segments have been installed, continue installing the remaining plastic segments. In some cases, the width of the transfer plate will require the use of trim segments to accommodate the necessary width of the conveyor. In this case, you will need to cut a set of segments to the dimensions that matches the gap width you are trying to cover. Measure the width and mark the set of segments by tracing a straight line across the top surface. If the gap width is greater than one and a half inches, use a table saw or tubing cutter to cut the final segments within an eighth of an inch. Install the trim set of segments into the remaining gap. If the support bar does not appear centered in the gap between the pulleys, loosen the socket head screws and adjust the transfer. Verify that all fasteners are properly tightened and that all installation materials and tools have been removed from the belt and the conveyor area. Once all adjustments are made, secure the screws on both sides of the segmented transfer plate assembly with a thread locking agent.